Mr. Herring's back yet? No, he's not. There's a policeman waiting to see you in the city. Oh, that's room. just as good. I think I've worked out where Winterbourne must be. Has he been waiting long? No, not long, David. Stop. It's bad news. Well, I'm sure it'll be good news soon. We just haven't been looking in the right place. No, David, wait. It's not about Winterbourne. Something terrible is. Um, uh, Mr. Powlett Jones? Yes. Uh, Mr. David Powlett Jones? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, sir. Do you want to sit down? No, I don't think so. Why should I? Look, what's all this about? There's uh, be been a bad motor accident, sir. But he wouldn't be near any roads by now. No, Do you see? No, it's it's your wife, sir. Beth. On Quarry Hill. It is your car, isn't it? So the, the, the Morgan three-wheeler? Yes, that's right. Well, so there was there was a lorry, one of Venn's, got out of control coming down the hill light and collided with your wife's vehicle. They, they was your children in the car, was they, sir? Yes. Well, are they all right? Were they hurt? They was all killed outright. More or less. What do you mean, more or less? Well, well, sir, I understand one of the little girls was alive when they picked her up, but she died on the way to hospital. The driver of the lorry, too, to a, to a terrible accident like, sir. I'm sorry to sort of drag it out telling it, right? Are you all right, sir? Yes, I'm all right. Oh, David. If if there was anything else I could tell you, sir. Where are they now? In Chalicombe Hospital, sir. But there's no hurry for getting over there now. Tomorrow I'll do fine. Are you, are you, are you sure you're going to be all right now? I'm, I'm very sorry about this, sir. I, I be, best be getting along now. Yes, that's all right. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Now, David, just sit down there and I'll get you a cup of tea with a drop of something in it. I thought it'd come from about Winterbourne. You see, I, I had no idea. Yes, but don't think about that. Just sit there. I won't be two ticks. I won't be a second. Look, um, I, I don't think I, I, I want any tea. I, I just go have a walk. No, wait! I just want a breath of fresh air. No, David, wait a bit, please! I just wonder once or twice whether you needed me as much as I need you. This roller shouldn't be over here. Don't know how they got it here. 
Um, Ellie told me about it. Algy Harris is still out. Look, old chap. Come up to my rooms. Come and have a stiff drink. Wish I'd thought to bring a bottle with me. That would look a bit odd, wouldn't it? Look, I'm afraid the police say now that someone's got to go to Charakam. I'll come with you just as soon as the head gets back with some transport. But let's get a drop of gin inside you first, hmm? Alice, do you suppose by any chance it might not be true? It could be some horrible mix-up. We'll drop in on Doc Willoughby on the way to Chalicum, David. He'll give you something to ride out the shock. No, I, I don't need anything. I'm fine. One of the twins wasn't dead when they picked her up. She died on the way to hospital. I, I don't even know which one it was. I'm sure they couldn't have suffered. No. No, that's good, isn't it? It wasn't like this in the war. It was quite different. Not like this at all. We were all going to die. It was just a matter of when. We were all geared up for it. You got through that. Yes, but I shan't get through this, Howard. You will. Out there was just bloody waste. The boys here aren't numbered for death, not anymore. You've got a job to do here, 30 or 40 years of it. It's a job only you can do in the way you do it. Oh, I know that what I'm saying now won't be much help to you in the next few weeks, maybe months. But it will in the end, I promise.